As we start talking about some of the root causes of anxiety, uh, I had to personally really dive into some of my emotions and what was really going on underneath the surface. It was definitely, emotions is definitely not something that I thought much about at all when I was a young player or a young uh, man growing up. And uh, I mean, there's really only two emotions that were <laughs> considered okay uh, in the athletic world. And, and one of them was being glad and happy about what was going on on the field. And the other one was being angry. And besides that, there was just no room for much else. You know, what I realized when I started doing emotions work is that most of my experience in athletics was based off of two main emotions that I didn't even realize, fear and shame. And when I started getting into the psychology behind uh, how shame and fear drive people to do certain things and, and succeed in certain ways, I started looking around and thinking, wow, a lot of the success that I earned came through um, some fear that was under the surface or shame that was under the surface that was driving me to continue to go achieve, achieve, achieve. And uh, when I started getting healthy, I started finding safe places to share some of the emotions that I was actually going through and actually figuring out a language for it. And once I found that language and dug deep into what was really going on inside, it started helping put some of the thoughts together. Oh, that's why I think that I'm not enough. It, it goes back to this, this shame piece that when I was just a, a kid, you know, starting to figure out um, what was acceptable or not acceptable on an athletic field, um, a lot of it was based on fear and shame. And um, once I started coming to grips with that and seeing some of the messaging that I was living by um, on the field, I realized I wasn't just living that on the field, I was also living that off the field in a lot of ways. And uh, it, was, it was bleeding out in a lot of different areas of my life. And so Coming to an understanding of, of my emotions, what's deep inside, what I need to process, and um, seeing other people do that as well, and seeing them come to this new realization of what's really going on for them. I mean, that was a window into my soul, really. Um, and deep down, I was able to, to come to grips with some of those messages that I was really um, driven by and able to go back and go, oh, I'm not feeling loved. I'm not feeling um, like I'm good. I'm not feeling like I'm valued. I'm not feeling like I'm enough. And once I, I, I realized that, that God has given me all of those things without any of the performance through Christ, uh, that revolutionized how I started feeling about myself, which started revolutionizing how I was thinking about what I was doing. And um, it, was, it was just a, a doorway into this journey of, of really figuring out who I was when I didn't have the uniform on.